Stand Here video sermon. It's all about stretch and you can use this unit to have the most amazing stretch. So let's get busy and show you what you can do. And you don't need to get on the floor and do anything after this. We nail every part of your body. So first of all, just I'm going to have mine on a medium level. No particular, this doesn't matter. So coming into a child pose, but before we do that, I want to just come into a cat and cow. So just rolling up through the spine and then rolling back down, lifting the head. Diving the tummy, rolling back up, segmenting your spine. Tuck in and roll your way back up. And just listen to your spine and make sure that you're breathing. Try not to hunch your shoulders or lock your elbows. And rolling back up. And rolling back down. Go ahead now into your child pose. And just spread the knees to the outside. Tuck your toes so that you're actually going to stretch the top of your feet as well. And come back on your feet. Hold the top of your glide forward. If you're taller, let's hold the rails. Tuck in and just come down. Again, listen to your body. Any compromised knees, put a cushion underneath. Just ease back into your lower spine. Lengthen the arms. If you can, drop the head. If you can't, it just doesn't matter. Take a couple of deep breaths and hold. Be in no hurry with the stretches. Now I'm just going to slip my right hand underneath and pull back and get right down my right side into my serratus anterior lower traps, right down into my cula. I'm just turning my head with the rotation. You can look underneath the arm as well. Feels divine. And then just switching over <clears throat> and taking the left over, right on top, and turn to your right. And you actually pull away, hold on to the top and pull away. Feels amazing, great for releasing lower back and upper back. You can do that as many times as you want. And back into centre and just pull back into that lower back. Before you come up, draw up in your belly, roll your way back up and go back into that nice arch back. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to flip myself over now and come to the bottom and pressing back with the glide board. Go ahead and reach for the sky. So zip the belly. Hold and just pull down the shoulders. Feels great. And then pop the chest forward. You're going to feel all your upper back, your thoracic spine. And then ease back and reach to the sky. And exhale, come back down and ease forward. And inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, come back down and ease forward. Beautiful. And come back up. Now take your both arms to the side. Drop your shoulders down. Rotate to the left leg. Tuck in and roll forward. Now just remember this little roll. The tighter your hamstrings, take the glide board up and it will allow you more movement. But the objective here is not to reach your feet, just to lengthen the spine. Tuck in and roll your way back up. Drop the shoulders, or rotate, a dive in and roll your way forward. Notice the back hand turns in. And tuck in and roll your way up and rotate. Dive in and roll forward. Each time, just try and ease down and nudge it just a little bit more. Rotate, exhale, roll forward. Inhale, come back. And you can put this video at the end of every workout if you wish to. Or do it by itself on those days, but you just need to rest. And come back up. <clears throat> Drop your shoulder, I'm going to do two more. Rotate and dive in and roll your way forward. And roll your way back up and rotate and tuck in. And if you're pregnant or a little bit overweight, just go like so and reach to the toe bar. Otherwise, all the way down. Back into centre. And drop your shoulders down. Bring your arms into the front. Roll back down. Hold the glide board. Put your foot up onto your spot stand or your toe bar. And go ahead and shimmy on over to the right. Grab your right ankle and pull that foot backwards. Now, if you're compromised in your quads or hip flexors, take the glide board up. 
drop into your heel and we get another calf stretch in the left one as well. And then adding on, taking up the opposite arm and lengthening out right through your lats and your QL. Reach up to the rail if you can. Always take a couple of deep breaths and melt into your stretch. Feels so good. And remember guys, if you have tight hip flexors, tight quads, you will have a tight lower back too. Because the hip flexors all link into the lumbar fascia. So I'm just going to take that out. And I'm going to show you another option on this side. I'm going to take my left ankle and pull back. Drop into my heel and taking the right arm up. I'm reaching out. Now if you feel like you can go further, then all you do is bend your right knee and slip down. The foot will drag on the floor. Keep your toes turned backwards and hold. Reach through your fingers while you're here too. A couple of deep breaths. You can hold these stretches for as long as you want. Breath in and push back. Go back into the centre. Coming into hips and glutes, take your left leg over your right. Put your left hand onto that left leg and sink in as far as your body allows you to without your butt coming up. And give it a little bit of a hand. Now I've taken it right to the bottom. If you can't do that, that is fine as well. Check your chin is down. Go ahead and press back out. Left leg goes up, right leg goes across. Go ahead and press down. The more you push on that knee, the more you're going to feel it through your hip and your glutes. Couple of nice deep breaths while you're here. And then pressing back up. <clears throat> Going through our calves and our Achilles and ankles, so just alternating through your feet. It's beautiful, it feels amazing. And often our knee problems are from our feet, so keeping our feet nice and mobile is super cool and super effective. Plus keeps our ankles strong, so when we roll them we don't necessarily sprain or strain them. If you have someone in the house, get them push both your heels down and get them to pull your heels. That is a super cool stretch for your calf muscles. This is good, but you can increase it with a little pull from somebody. So your calves and my Achilles. Now I'm just gonna slip my left hand up and come into a hamstring stretch and a lower back. So bringing the knee in, roll your head up and roll your head down. Exhale, roll the head up and roll the head down, roll the head up, and roll down. Now go ahead and draw the tummy and push your lower back down, grab your leg and take it up and flex the foot. I like to hold behind my hamstring, never pull on the knee joint. So you can have one hand calf and one hand hamstring and always pull down on your toes but don't pull on the toes because that's the neural stretch. And keep your chin down. I know guys, this one kills most men. Hold on to it. And a yummy one for someone with sciatica or just prevention. Take it slightly across towards the left shoulder, no further. So the foot's in line with your left shoulder and put it towards you. Keep your chin down. Beautiful. Knee in. And take that leg out. Reset your lower back down, tummy on. Bring in your left leg. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll down. Go ahead and take that leg up. Flex the foot and pull in towards you. You may find one's tighter than the other. Just listen to the body and be patient with it. Remember, exhale into your stretch. Pulling down the toes. Feels so good. 
Take in your opposite hand, bring it slightly across, lining up your left toe with your right shoulder. Go back into that breath. Beautiful, back into center. Bring that knee in, lift up, and then take your foot away. Go ahead now and take both arms over for a big long body stretch. Reach through your fingertips. Grab your left wrist and pull over towards the right. Get right down that left side. And grab your right wrist and take it over to the left. Go ahead, reach up for the sky again. Dive in your tummy, flatten your back, or roll your way back up. And go ahead and just reach forward. And if you can, grab hold of the toe bar. And this is going to depend on your arm length. You can drop into your heels if you want to. Or you can stay up on your toes. Purely what your body allows you to do. Tuck in and roll your way back up. Bring your feet down onto the struts. <clears throat> Sit up nice and tall. And taking your left hand across to your right leg, push off that leg and just sneak your hand around, if you can, don't overdo it, to the back of the glide board and look to the tower. This is quite an intense stretch, so you may have to start in the middle of the glide board. But your objective is to come around and look around and keep your head up. Go in and out of these stretches with caution and no speed. And slowly come out of it. Right hand onto left leg, push into the leg, rotate, hand on, walk it over, and look to the back of the tower. Beautiful, come back into center, open both arms out, chest, and just play with your angles here. So we can just take it down a bit, just to change pec major, pec minor, what muscles we're getting into. Open the fingers always. Pull back, zip from your tummy. Now while you're here, just turn your head to the left. And turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. And turn to the right. It's called a head nodding and turning. So we're lifting up and we're lifting down. Rolling that chin up and rolling that chin down. Rolling chin up and rolling chin down. Beautiful. Release the arms. Roll the shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall. Just rotating. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to flip myself over now into a down dog and then great. Adductive stretch. To do this, I'm just going to bring the unit down a touch. Yes, it's the power tower. I'm going to come down a touch. And then I'm just going to come down to the base of the unit, sitting on the tow bar or the squat stand. Move out the glide board and put your feet into the base. Close the glide board onto your feet. Don't worry about it. Breath in. <clears throat> Hands come down. Exhale. Lift up your bottom. Push it back into your butt. And then exhale, come forward. Arch your back. And inhale, roll back up. Press your butt away and keep the glide board open. Tuck in and come forward. Over top of the wrist and then drop your pelvis and lift up. And roll your way back up, segmenting your spine. Press away. And again, tuck in and come over the wrist. And arch your back. And last time, roll your way back up. Glide board open. Move your head between your arms and keep it open. Beautiful. Tuck in, roll your way up and take your feet out. Close the glide board gently. This is one of my favorite. Putting your knee to the front. Now, you can put your foot onto the strut, or if you're feeling flexible, put it up on the toe bar or squat stand. It doesn't matter which one. Now, putting your knee directly under your hip, exhale, open the glide board. 
Now, how far you open the glide board is how intense the stretch becomes. So be cautious when you open it. And just stay there. Now to increase the stretch, we just look towards the left leg. Hold and breathe into it. Be cautious guys that you don't jump out of it quickly, come back into the center and close the glide board. Pop it over to the other side. Make sure the knees at the front. Put my foot back up to the toe bar. Hands evenly around that bottom leg. And then exhale, open back out. Find that one nice sweet place. And then rotate and look at the right leg. Beautiful. Come back into centre. Close the leg board. Turn around. <clears throat> Breath in, bottom out, and just put your toes at the top of the leg board and sag down. Tap into the belly. Roll your way back up. Bring your left knee down and put your right foot into the middle, or you can put it on the floor right by the base. So guys that are really tight, your hamstrings use the floor. Ladies that are flexible, put your heel in the middle. If that's not going to work on your unit, it doesn't make too much difference. So exhale, it's easing out. Inhale, back in. Maintain your shoulders down and your heart is lifted. And check your head is not hanging. Notice my toes, I tuck away. And come back in. Again, patience with your body, listen to it and ease back out. You'll notice I'm not gripping. I've just got my hands on top. And then roll back in. Changing legs. <clears throat> Left leg on. Reset, shoulders down. Keep your elbows bent. Toes down. Exhale, press back out. Inhale, come back in. And exhale, press back out. Hands are not gripping, elbows are soft, shoulders are down. One more time. And exhale, press back out. And come back in. Beautiful. Now this stretch is more for the real confident people or my flexible ones. Beginners, do not try it. So he's going to put your foot Get your right foot in close to the glide board and put your left foot on. Then exhale, ease it forward, come down and keep it going. I can't do the splits, but I'm nearly there. So I topped out here so that it won't slide away from me. Inhale, pull back. And exhale, come back. So you want the glide board to top out. And inhale, come back in. A nice way to work on your splits and lengthening. Coming over to the other side. So notice I put my right foot just about the top third and then I bring my left one in real close. Slip in the tummy, tighten your buttocks and then slip. Bring your arms to the glide board and exhale back out. Inhale, back in, and exhale, back out. Inhale, back in, and exhale, back out. And inhale, come back in. Beautiful. Come and sit on your feet. Breath in and give those ankles a nice stretch. Both arms up to the sky. Grab your left elbow and drop it down behind your triceps. And the right one. And that's pretty much your whole body stretched and released. Both arms behind. Shoulders working on that posture. 
And there we have it, guys. Enjoy the stretch time and put it next to a workout or just have it on your days off. Or if you're feeling a little sick, this one's called a day. Namaste.